Sheet Metal. Apply basic sheet metal functionality such as flanges and bends. Create a sheet metal drawing. In this tutorial, we'll create the sheet metal part shown here and then create a drawing showing the flat pattern. To begin, we'll create a new part. Select New, Part, and click OK. Enable the sheet metal tools by right clicking on one of the Command Manager tabs and select Sheet Metal. Select Base Flange Tab and select the front plane to place a sketch on this plane. Now we'll draw this sketch starting with the midpoint line. Once you're finished, select Exit Sketch. For the direction 1 depth, key in 75. Set the thickness to 3 and the bend radius to 1. And click OK. Three features are created in the Feature Manager tree. The Sheet Metal folder contains a sheet metal feature, which stores default parameters for each sheet metal body that we construct in this part, a base flange feature, which contains the sketch and depth dimensions, and a suppressed flat pattern feature, which when unsuppressed, will show us what the flattened state of our sheet metal part looks like. In the next few steps, we'll add a miter flange to our sheet metal part. To limit the propagation of this miter flange, we'll first add a cut. Select Extruded Cut, and then select this face or the bottom face. Draw a circle, centered on a midpoint, and dimension it by 40. Exit the sketch, and link the cut depth to the thickness, and click OK. Select Wireframe. To begin a miter flange, click on Miter Flange. And select the upper half of this edge. Selecting the lower half would place a sketch on the wrong side of the midpoint. Orient to a bottom view. And zoom in on this region. Draw a horizontal line, starting at the origin and then switch to a tangent arc. One way you can do this is to hover your cursor without clicking on this endpoint and then move your cursor away from the endpoint. Now we'll draw an additional line tangent to the arc and then add these dimensions. Orient to an isometric and exit the sketch. Select the Propagate button, select Material Outside and click OK. Change the view to Shaded with Edges and save the part as Cover. Now we'll mirror the sheet metal body to create the other side of this model. Orient to a back view. And select Mirror. Select one of these back planar faces. And under Bodies to Mirror, select the sheet metal body. Change to an isometric. And click OK. We'll create an edge flange that looks like this. Select Edge Flange and then select this edge. Move your cursor away, click again. Set the length to 30. Select Material Outside. For the flange position, select Offset and key in 15. And then select Edit Flange Profile. 
drag the endpoints of the sketch inward. This releases an on entities relation, and now we can add dimensions to constrain them. Dimension both sides by 36, and select Finish. Now we'll mirror this feature over the right plane. Select Mirror. Since the edge flange was still selected, it pops up in the Features to Mirror. For the mirror face or plane, select the right plane. If the feature is not selected at this point, please select it, then click OK. Now we'll add a tab that looks like this. Select the top face and select base flange tab. Now we'll sketch a rectangle like this. Add a few dimensions. And a midpoint relation. Hover your cursor and select the midpoint. Hover your cursor, hold down control, and select the midpoint, and select horizontal. Select exit sketch, and click OK. Let's also hide this plane. We'll add a small bend to the tab. Select the top face, and select sketched bend. Draw a line. Make sure the line snaps to a vertical. The tutorial says horizontal, but the relation is vertical. Add a dimension, and exit the sketch. Select this side of the face as the fixed face. Select material outside, and key in 90 degrees, and click OK. In the next couple of steps, we'll create a cut across a bend. We'll begin this by unfolding the bend. Select Unfold. Select this face as the fixed face, and for the bend to unfold, select this bend, and click OK. Select Extruded Cut, and click on this top face. Orient Normal to. I'll turn off shadows in this sketch, draw a rectangle, and add dimensions and relations. Once you are finished, exit the sketch, select through all, Click OK, and orient to an isometric. Select Fold, collect all bends, and click OK. In the next couple of steps, we'll add an edge flange, and we'll close the corner. Select Edge Flange and click on this edge. Move your cursor up and click. Set the angle to 75 and the end condition to 85 millimeter. Select material outside and set a custom relief type to rectangular with the relief ratio set to 0 0.5 and click OK. Select closed corner Select this face to extend, and select Butt as the corner type, and click OK. Now we'll take a look at a flat pattern. Select Flatten. This unsuppresses the flat pattern feature in the tree. Turn off Flatten, and it suppresses the flat pattern feature once again. Finally, let's save our part. In the second part of this tutorial, we'll create this sheet metal drawing, and we'll adjust these bend notes to make them easier to read. 
select options and under system options drawings display style make sure tangent edges is set to visible and click OK select file make drawing from part select the default drawing template and click OK drag an isometric view from the view palette and drop it somewhere about here under scale select use custom scale set it to user defined and make it a 1 to 3 scale to insert a view of the flat pattern select model view select next for the orientation select flat pattern and set the scale once again to a custom scale of 1 to 3 and click somewhere about here click OK to the model view command and save the drawing to adjust the font on the bend notes select all of them turn off use document font and select font and set it to a nine point font and click OK click on the sheet you may have noticed that our flat pattern came in reversed from the flat pattern shown here click on the border of the flat pattern and select flip view all the nodes are repositioned and where it said up now says down some of the notes in our drawing are redundant let's hide these four and next we'll add leaders to some of these notes select these four notes turn on leader and drag them to the left you can reposition these leaders by selecting the notes individually and dragging the square and dropping it somewhere else on the line finally we'll change the angle of some of these vertical notes select all five of them and for the angle set it to zero degrees drag the notes to reposition them drag the view if needed and select save to save your work and that's it we've completed this tutorial thank you